Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for joining us for Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. Up here we have Kevin Streelman, very fine player, uh, presently ranked 61st in the world, couple tour victories under his belt. So let's take a look at this motion. I want to show you a couple things I might tighten up in his swing, although he's doing just fine without me. So this is summer at the Travelers Championship. Uh, got out there to uh, video some swings, and here he is on the ninth hole with an iron. So I want to show you right off the bat what he does, and I like this. A lot of players do it. They sort of simulate what they want to do in their backswing, right? So taking it back right there, a pretty good distance, trying to just feel what he wants to do. Typically, i found players like to do this when they tend to sn snatch the club inside too much. They want to kind of keep it away and wide, and that may be what he's doing here. You also notice he has a very strong left-hand grip, like three knuckles. I like that. Gets a club face close through impact. Ball little forward and stance. Okay, let's go into motion here. Now you're going to see a nice swing here. Now he has a little bit of kickback with that lower body there. I'm not crazy about that move, but it's okay. I think the other thing I notice is he has a late wrist hinge. So this is in the Jack Nicholas sort of Hal Sutton <laughs> back in the day. Uh, Bubba Watson with a late wrist hinge. More of a preference. Um, you know, you typically find the stronger players do this, but this is just fine. You know, pretty still head right here, rotating around center. A lot of width right here, right? And you're going to see him. He has his earliest set into the left side as anybody in the game. In other words, as he gets to the top of the swing here, as you'll notice, he starts to move into that left side significantly. And that club's still going back. Two-way motion. Ben Hogan helped him a little bit uh, in his swing. It might help you too, okay? Um uh, so tremendous turn, head in position, beautiful, and really look at that left hip so close to the line at the top. That's something I look for in my videos. Uh, when I do it with my students, I like that position. Okay, sliding into the left side, and I'll say sliding because uh, you notice his ball position was pretty far forward, which I thought he's okay, but you're going to see why that works right now is he gets a lot of lateral motion now, retaining the angle. So that's really good right there, left arm and club shaft, right, as we notice a lot of times, right there, about a 90-degree angle. Good, and some compression with his head, using the ground as a force. Very nice. Now, as he gets in the hitting area, this is quite a bit more lateral motion than what I see with most tour players. Um, and so he slides a little bit. And as he does that, to offset that, his head goes back a little bit. Now, he's a very good ball striker, but I could see on occasion this, uh, you know, creeping into your swing, give you some funny shots. Typically, this move... Uh, and if you see it on your video, you'll push it to the right, getting that much lateral motion, right? So the, the downswing is a combination of lateral and rotary. I like to put a um, alignment stick opposite somebody's left hip if they tend to slide too much and get them to rotate more. That's something I can help you with. You come for a lesson. <laughs> okay, so into the follow-through. You know, like we see with all good tour players, very good extension, glove underneath, so he's released the club right here, right? And then he's going to rotate through all the way onto his right toe. So, you know, and there's something, too, I want you to notice. And I, I'll work on this a lot of, with folks as well, is that your right hip is closer to the target than your left. In other words, you've really rotated through right there. And, boy, that's a way to keep yourself in balance and uh, just have a nice, uh, good acceleration through the uh, shot. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So thanks for being with us. Hey, if you like a video like this, happy to do it for you. So easy to do with the V1 app. You can just send it in from anywhere around the world, even Disney World, and I can uh, analyze it like this with voiceover and send it back. Of course, I really appreciate your support of the channel. It's growing a lot, so thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. And hey, if you like this uh, video right there, hit that little thumbs up button. That would help me a lot. And, uh, of course, you can always get more information there over on Facebook, Gary Bates Golf Academy. And, hey, I hope you had a great year. Uh, hey, the offseason is the best time to work on your game, so don't let that go. Take advantage of every minute in the offseason. That's when you make your swing changes. So if you're in the Philly region uh, or have access to our local airports, come see me. Love to help you out. So God bless you. Thanks for being with us for Tour Swing Tuesday. We'll see you next time, and bye for now.